Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about polycystic ovarian syndrome and the heart. Alright, so polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, is a medical condition that deals with the female reproductive system. In particular, the ovaries start to produce an abnormal amount of androgens. This can lead to several small cysts or fluid-filled sacs that form in the ovaries, as you can see in the image on the right. It's important to note that not every person with PCOS will develop cysts. I now want to provide some details on why cysts occur. So this goes back to a process called ovulation, which is when a mature egg is released from the ovary in order for it to be fertilized by a male sperm. If the egg does not get fertilized, it is released during one's menstrual cycle. Sometimes an individual does not make enough of the hormone needed for ovulation. When this occurs, the ovaries start to develop the previously mentioned cyst, as seen in the picture on the right. These cysts then make more androgen hormones, which contribute to the symptoms of PCOS. Some of the common symptoms include irregular periods, which could include fewer menstrual periods or having periods that do not follow a regular pattern. Additionally, this could include having periods that last several days or end much quicker. Another symptom is too much androgen, as we mentioned. So androgen is a hormone which can control certain bodily functions. Thus, higher levels of androgen can cause excessive body and facial hair, also severe acne and male pattern baldness. Of course, then we have the polycystic ovaries, which again, when ovaries might be bigger than usual, and we have the formation of several small cysts in the ovaries. Another symptom can include infertility. It's very important to note that just because you might experience these symptoms does not mean that you have PCOS. Thus, it's best to speak with your family doctor or an OBGYN to garner more personalized health diagnoses as well as treatment plans for what you're dealing with specifically. All right, let's look at some treatment options. To start, we have diet and exercise. Eating a healthy diet and incorporating more physical activity can help with your health at a baseline. But when it comes to PCOS in particular, it can also help with managing symptoms. So for example, diet and exercise can help your body use insulin more efficiently and can also help with ovulation. There are some medications that one can take and usually this will help ovaries to release eggs normally. However, there are risks with taking such medications and this should be discussed with one's physician first. Next, we have birth control pills, which can help with controlling menstrual cycles as well as lowering those androgen levels. We also have diabetes medications, which can help with insulin resistance as a result of PCOS, as well as reducing those androgen levels overall. It's important to note that you should first speak with your physician to be able to understand your diagnosis and what treatment option will be best for you in particular. Next, let's talk about the impact that PCOS can have on the heart. While PCOS does not act as a direct cause for heart disease, Besides PCOS, some of the other risk factors include increased blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels. And so, those who have PCOS along with some of these symptoms are at a higher risk of metabolic syndrome, increasing their risk for coronary heart disease and stroke. PCOS also causes insulin resistance. In at least 50% of PCOS women, this appears to be related to excess serine phosphorylation of the insulin receptor. Insulin resistance can contribute to an overproduction of insulin by the pancreas. This can cause hyperglycemia and eventually type 2 diabetes, all of which lead to heart disease, heart failure, and stroke. PCOS is also associated with hormone imbalances as well as thyroid conditions. This can be associated with symptoms like heart palpitations that where many women experience. Next, let's talk about the impact that PCOS can have on the heart. While PCOS does not act as a direct cause for heart disease, it can be a significant contributing factor to it. PCOS acts as one of the leading factors of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a condition which encompasses a cluster of risk factors specific for cardiovascular disease. Besides PCOS, some of the other risk factors include increased blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels. And so, those who have PCOS along with some of these symptoms are at a higher risk of metabolic syndrome, increasing their risk for coronary heart disease and stroke. PCOS also causes insulin resistance. In at least 50% of PCOS women, this appears to be related to excess serine phosphorylation of the insulin receptor. Insulin resistance can contribute to an overproduction of insulin by the pancreas. This can cause hyperglycemia and eventually type 2 diabetes, all of which lead to heart disease, heart failure, and stroke. PCOS is also associated with hormone imbalances, as well as thyroid conditions. This can be associated with symptoms like heart palpitations that where many women experience. All right, we would just want to end off this presentation with saying a thank you and we hope you enjoyed the video.